Those fireworks quickly can burn brush and even people. Team 12's Lisa Nico is talking with the experts tonight about what to do if you get burned. Banner Health's emergency department is the fifth busiest in the nation. They expect to see about 300 patients every day. And today, on the 4th of July, they expect an increase of burn victims. So there's a lot of things you have to worry about. Dr. Scott Schleifer has worked at Banner Desert's emergency department for 19 years. During that time, he's seen a lot of burns. It's 4th of July and everybody wants to grab fireworks. One of the most important reminders, don't let kids play with fireworks unsupervised. Even sparklers can pose a very serious threat. Sometimes the children will put like little sparklers in the mouth. So be sure to extinguish that sparkler in a bucket of water. But children aren't the only burn victims Dr. Schleifer sees in his department. Adults, he says, also often take matters into their own hands, literally holding fireworks in their hands that should have been lit safely on the ground. And they can get burns to the hand. We've missed some digits just from the explosions. If you do get burned, the doctor says the best thing to do is to run lukewarm water over the wound, then dry and dress it. Using cold water or even ice could only make the burn worse. And then cause the breakdown of the skin and the nerve endings and everything. And you don't know it because you're comfortably numb. And if you have any questions about a wound, never hesitate to go to the hospital. Again, the major takeaways here today, always make sure that your children are being watched. Make sure that you have a bucket of water so that you can extinguish those fireworks quickly. Don't hang on to them for too long and also use warm water, not cold. Reporting in Mesa, I'm Lisa Nico, 12 News.